Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing and Stuff. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Wit Garage Wi-Fi Garage Door Controlling System, which is compatible with your Wi-Fi, Amazon Alexa, and Google Home using the Wit Garage app, which allows you to control your garage door from pretty much anywhere. So this system's pretty easy to install. It's just two or three little pieces and it allows you to have multiple people on the system so if you have a family you could put it on all their smartphones so that they could get in and out through the garage and control it whenever they need to and if you have Wi-Fi or internet access you can control the garage so even if you are far away from home uh, it looks like there's a sensor that will tell you if your garage door is open or if it's closed so that way you don't ever have to worry wondering you know what state did you leave it in when you drove away it is also supposed to be very secure having some sort of an encryption so that way not anyone can just pick up your signal coming through the airwaves and then take control of your garage and get in so I think that about covers it loosely from everything that I know from the box so let's go ahead and pull this thing out of the box and see what's in here So let's see, in the box we have an installation manual, a quick start guide, our garage door sensor, and the actual main unit itself, which plugs into the plug at the top of the ceiling where your garage door actually plugs into. And then the this cord here goes down into your actual garage door motor and that's how it controls the system. So not too much to look at here. We've got our little quick start guide, pretty simple. And then our installation manual, which is actually fairly large. So I imagine that there's a pretty good amount of information in here. And it looks like this entire manual is in English, which is good for me, so that's the only language that I can read. So anyways, this is everything that was in the box, and from this point, I'm actually going to take you through a complete install of the WIT Garage system, so that if you do end up getting one of these, you can see how to install it, and then after the fact, I'm going to come back in here, and we'll sit down, and I will tell you about my experience, and what I think of it so far, and after I do some testing, I'll also do a little review, kind of telling you, you know, do I think it's worth buying, or maybe look somewhere else. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get out into the garage and go ahead and start the install. Okay, according to the quick start guide, the first thing you're supposed to do is check that all the parts are in the actual box. We did that during the unboxing. Next is you're going to check the compatibility of your garage door opener. There is a list of compatible and incompatible garage door openers on the Wit Garage website, which I will link down below. And since my garage door opener was not on their website, on the compatible or incompatible list, I went ahead and followed the other instructions that says, if your door is capable of being opened with a wall control unit, which I assume is the wireless keypad for most any garage door that has that, uh, I'm going to assume that at this point my garage door is compatible. So we're going to go on to step three, which is, install the mobile app and create an account. So I happen to have an Android device and I'm gonna go ahead and type in wit garage and before I even type it in it came up here and I'm gonna go ahead and install that app Okay, now that everything's installed, we're going to go ahead and click the open button, which should launch our app. And there we are. And at this point, you can go ahead and it looks like log in with Facebook or go ahead and create a unique account. So to create your new account, you actually click down here, create new account now. And then this will take you through the process of actually going ahead and making your own account. So now I'm going to do that and I'll come right back. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do now that we have our account set up on our app 
is we're gonna take our Wit Garage main device and we're gonna go ahead and plug it into an outlet. It doesn't have to be the one up where the garage door is plugged into at this point. So we're just gonna take it, plug it in, should beep, blink a few times green, then start to blink fast red. And at that point, we know we're gonna to wanna to take our mobile app and go ahead and press the add device button. And at this point in time, we're gonna to have to go ahead and enter our Wi-Fi and our Wi-Fi password, okay? And then it's gonna go ahead and start pairing the device. Okay, now that that's completed, we're seeing added, or adding device succeeded. We'll press done and it is showing that at this point in time our garage door is open, which it in fact is not, but that's the same thing it shows in the instruction manual. Okay, so the next part of this is actually binding the GD801S to the GD801C, which is the main portion here to our garage door sensing unit, which can tell if the garage door is open or shut. And so, when the main unit is blinking blue, uh, it is not connected to the sensor. And so if you move the sensor close to the unit and flip it 90 degrees, then it will, and flip it back, then it'll actually end up connecting to the unit. So that part I accidentally did off camera on accident just by moving it closer uh, and it actually went ahead and paired up. So that part was very easy. Okay, and now that everything is paired up, we're gonna go ahead and do the next part, which is actually to take our sensor and flip it 90 degrees, and then within a short period of time, we should see on our phone that the garage door, in fact, opened because the sensor is detecting it. Okay, and there you go, see it turned red, and we get a notification up top, and then we go ahead and flip it back upright, which it does say this side is up, and look at that, instantly showing us that our garage door is closed again. And then one more time, we'll go down. And there we go, showing our garage door is open. And last time, we'll come back up. And there we go, showing our garage door is closed. So now we verified that that works properly. Okay, now that we've got everything paired, our next step is actually gonna to be to take off our sticky tape and mount this unit right here, which I'm gonna mount just to the left of the center of the garage door. But before I mount it, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take some cleaner and just spray it off real quick. And just clean off all the dirt and dust that way it has a nice adhesion and actually stays up for a long time instead of potentially just falling off shortly after attaching. Okay, now that that's all cleaned up, we're gonna take our unit and there's actually a small indentation here in the bottom uh, that lets you know from visually from the front that it is the bottom. However, it also says this side up on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my sticky backing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place it right there. Just go back and forth over it a few times, confirm that it has good seating, and then that's it. Now it's securely mounted. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, so for our next portion here, you're gonna need some sort of a step stool or a ladder, possibly a flathead screwdriver. And then we're gonna be getting up to our actual garage door unit, which I've already went ahead and unplugged. Now, after seeing things in person, uh, I believe by the wall unit, they don't mean the Wi-Fi control unit, they mean 
an actual push button on the wall to open your garage door. So I have that as well. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and reposition the camera and get up top there. Uh, I would recommend removing power before you start the next process. And then uh, we'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm sorry if the camera is shaky at all. I have the tripod up on this platform where I'm standing in order to do the install. So for the next portion, you, like I said, may need a screwdriver and then you'll need your actual main unit here. And for me, I got two little buttons on my garage door opener and I just push them in, these tabs, and then this just hangs down like so. And then, so you'll need to identify the wiring that goes to your push button over on the wall. I have three wires coming in. These two over here are for the sensors to the left and right of the door so it doesn't close on somebody or something. And then over here, I've identified this on the left as my actual garage door opener wires. Now, the way that this unit is set up is I actually have orange tabs that I push in with my screwdriver and that will release this wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and reposition again slightly better so you can actually see the orange that I'm looking at here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up top here for now just to kind of keep it out of the way and then I have the wires here and so if I actually pull this guy off then that frees up these two wires which I'll separate and then twist to make them more like a single wire instead of a bunch of strands and then I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm going to press in on the two spots for this wall unit and then just pull those two wires right out. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wire here and we're gonna actually twist both of them together. So I'm gonna twist one wire over here with the blue Twist it around there nice. And then we're gonna take our other wire and we're gonna twist it around the solid white side. We're then going to get them back in place and then take our screwdriver again and press on there and then force it in and then let off. Now this one doesn't seem to be quite locked in. There we go. Now they both seem to be locked into place now I'm actually gonna get a small piece of electrical tape and tape this together so that way it stays nice and solid. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take our controller here and I'm going to plug this in and then we're gonna take our garage door power cord and we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. Then I'm gonna take a zip tie and I'm just gonna tie this cord up high over here. And then I'm just gonna fold this a little bit and zip tie it to the cable just to keep it from dangling all over the place. Alrighty, then we're gonna just do a little clip.
Okay, and as you can see, our light is solid green up here, which is telling us that it is all connected and should work. So the final step is to actually go ahead and test and see does the garage door work through the app. So let's go ahead and reset the camera and we'll give it a shot. Okay, let's go ahead and try the app out. We're gonna go ahead and tap the open button. Okay, so there goes another phone call. I keep getting phone calls during today. So now we see our app shows red and if we want to close the garage door, just tap that and we get the slow close. And then we get our notification telling us that the garage door is closed. So on this initial test at least, uh, Seems to work just flawlessly. I, I haven't really had any, any issues to talk of uh, so far, so I'm gonna do some more testing and uh, after I feel confident that this uh, system is working the way it should, then uh, we'll take it back into the review room where I will uh, tell you about some of the other features that I'm not using just because of my personal use case and then we'll uh, wrap it up and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so I've had the WIT Garage system installed for a little while now and had a chance to use it quite a few times. And so far, I'm very impressed. I think it was easy to install and I feel like it really worked quite well out of the box. There was really no issues that I ran into. Uh, I have to say their installation manual was actually quite impressive. A lot of good pictures of the app as you go through the, the manual, giving you step-by-step -step instructions on pretty much everything you want to do. Uh, one thing I didn't get to test out at all was the uh, Amazon Alexa or Google Home stuff. I don't currently have any of that, but uh, but other than that, everything else seemed to work quite flawlessly. Um, so I was pretty impressed overall. So it sounds like if you have a garage door that has a wall mounted button and has wires running into it, then you should be able to use this system. So if your garage door has that and it doesn't look like it's on either the list of garage doors that do work or do not work, then that's a pretty safe bet. But the nice thing is if you're buying through Amazon, you always have that return policy. So if it doesn't work, you can always do that. So overall, um, I would rate this as a 9 out of 10. The only thing that I didn't like is to create my account. I you can either give your Facebook account, some other account, or punch in your phone number. And, you know, I like to set up most of my accounts with an uh, email address. So it's not really a huge negative, but it's just something that I, you know, I don't know. I like my, my ways that I'm set in. So other than that, uh, the, you know, shipping was fast through Amazon. The product seems to be working great so far. And, uh, you know, I would definitely recommend it. If you're looking for something, a solution that, you know, you can let your kids or a family member or a friend or somebody into your house while you're not there, or if you want to give your children, you know, access to get in through the garage, maybe as they're coming home from school or something like that without actually having to give them a key, then uh, I think it's pretty neat. One thing I don't like about regular garage door openers is that usually you need them in the car and you know, if somebody breaks into your car, then they can get into your garage and then potentially into your house. And so having it on your smartphone, which at least my phone is password protected, then, you know, you get that extra little layer of security, but you also have the convenience of being able to get in through your garage, no matter who you're riding with or where you're coming from. So you can go on a bike ride and come get in your garage just by using your smartphone. I think, you know, pretty cool concept. So overall, I give it, you know, a big thumbs up. And I would say, you know, if you're looking for anything like this, this seems like a good way to go. I will keep you guys updated. Uh, if I ever have any issues, I'll let you know and see if, you know, if I do come up with an issue, if I can get it resolved, I'll also let you know how, you know, that is going. So at this point in time, though, I definitely would recommend it. If this is something you're interested in, I've put a link down below. Uh, 
as the time of this recording is, I'm still not an affiliate with Amazon or anything like that. So it's just a regular link. However, if I ever do become an affiliate, I will add in my affiliate link and, and I'll annotate it down there that that's what it is. So I think that about wraps it up. So at this point in time, I'd just like to say, don't forget to check out my Twitter page. You guys can follow me on there. I put out some pictures and some sneak peeks occasionally. And then whenever I post a new video, I always put it up there as well. And don't forget to subscribe. That's probably the most important part. And share with your friends. I mean, if you know anybody who's looking for something like this for their garage door or you think could use something like this, share the video. I think that would be awesome. And if you really want to know what uh, or when I have new content come out, you guys go ahead and click on the bell. You can subscribe and get notified by clicking on the bell as well. So I hope you guys are having a good day and a good weekend. And good weekday, I guess, if you're watching this on a weekday. But I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.